All right, just a quick one here. Let's check out what the sine wave looks like on this uh, cheap Vivor inverter. We're going to check it out at idle, and then we'll crank it up to the 3 kilowatts. See what the sine wave looks like there. And then tomorrow we'll do the video on both miners running, so that'll be a, a 6 plus kilowatt pull on it. We'll see if it survives. But let's just do a quick check here. I'm going to hook up the oscilloscope. I've got my differential probe for safety reasons. We're going to connect up to L. I can get it in there. And the neutral. I think I got it. All right. Let's see if I can remember how to run this thing. I need some power on the probe. And let's start up the inverter. And I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. So hopefully you can see what's going on here. If I can get both of them in the in the shot. All right. Let's do a two millisecond time base and two hundred millivolts. That will show the whole wa waveform here. All right, well, there's the waveform at idle. That looks pretty clean. We've got a little, little hump here at the zero crossing point, which is totally acceptable. That's where the IGBTs, two of the IGBTs shut off when it switches between the two sets of IGBTs. What else we got here? I guess that's it. Let's crank up the miner. I wonder how good the waveform on this analog scope is going to come out with the on the camera here. It looks a little funky if I'm looking at it through the viewfinder. 2.1 kilowatts. And it's looking beautiful. Two point six, two point seven kilowatts, and we're just starting to notice a little bit of distortion at the peak there. Get you in a little closer on that. Get that glare out of there. Two point eight four kilowatts according to that but remember when we did the last video the display on the inverter was reading low when we actually measured the current and the voltage on the AC so there you go we've got a little bit of distortion up here but overall for a cheap inverter I think it's looking pretty good it's gonna be interesting what it looks like with the full load all right, just a quick one there, and I'll see you tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss that one. And if anybody's going to do anything like this, I highly recommend a differential probe. This is a very cost-effective one, a hand tech. What is this? HT8050. And I'll put that in the description if anybody's interested. So have a good one. Adios. See you tomorrow.